Hey guys, welcome back to Amber Reviews, and today I'll be doing a quick show and tell, I suppose, on some of the things I recently picked up at Kix TW. Um, I'm like to be, I'm gonna be completely honest. I don't really pick up that much stuff from Kix TW. Um, it's a lot of money to splash every now and then. So, and lately I've been trying to steer to, uh, slightly a bit away from hype and a bit more into designer. So, but. I really, really wanted these Travis Scotts, um, and then while I was there, I saw this new drop on the Supreme Tee, and I copped that as well. Um, it was also part of a Kix TW promo. I think it was Chinese New Year, so I'm not too sure which Chinese New Year that was. Um, but they essentially gave up to a quarter, I think 20 or 25 percent of what you spent on your items back in a giveaway. So let's go through the giveaways first. Um, I, I did this same, I bought something last time on the same promo and you know, I, I would cop this necklace. Personally, I don't even know the brand, so I just gave it to my wife. She rocks it every now and then. So this time we got a lot of, um, we got a lot of uh, champion gear. So let's show the champion gear. I don't know about you, it's, oh, it's a bit loud for me. It sits champion all over the shirt, back and front. Uh, this is a size large. I'll try it on if you guys want to see at the end of the video. In case you're actually interested in champion gear, you know, I don't really, I probably don't have a lot of that stuff, so I probably wouldn't be doing a separate video on this. Um, Let's see the quickly show. Oh, focus, damn it. Champion. Uh, yeah. And can I see size large? Yeah, I mean it's a decent hoodie. I'm probably gonna keep it anyway. I'll probably just wear it around at the house. Um, it's really nice and warm. Unfortunately it is uh, springtime here in Sydney, so Whew, it's getting hot, definitely. <laughs> so I don't know how long I'll be able to rock this before I have to wear it again next winter. Um, and yeah, so I also got some of these champion socks. Um, apparently RP $20. And I think the jumper was RP. I can't see. RP 140 So for about $160 worth of giveaways for free. So. So anyways, let's get back to the actual items I bought and something I'm super excited about is this Supreme, I think it's called the Futara? Futara? Oh. Nope, got no tags, so I'll have to put something in later. Oh wait, Futura logo tee. Um, it says Supreme at the front. Justice for all at the back. I don't know. I, I have a lot of black shirts in my collection. I know that sometimes my videos are wearing grey shirts and then wearing like the Tommy Hilfiger ones or maybe a Ralph Lauren one. I know it's not quite hype beast, but those are kind of my pajama clothes at home. Um, but I don't have a lot of white items, mainly because I'm probably quite a dirty eater myself. So I drop a lot of shit on my shirts and I just don't want to have to clean all that out. So a black shirt hides a bit easier sometimes. Um, but anyways, these kicks TW's kind of authentication tags. Get the Supreme logo tag, and then how much it probably cost the original person to buy. It says 38 pounds. Uh, uh, double that around. So let's say about 70 bucks. Picked it up from kicks TW for about 175. So paid resale as per usual. Um, yeah, so. Pre-shrunk, 100% cotton, made in the USA. Uh, yeah, nothing to it. So, let's a quick look at the back again if you're interested. But yeah, I'll try this on at the end of the video and you can see how it fits, but essentially I'm wearing a, uh, oh, can you see? So, it's a size large uh, Supreme tee with the uh, logo in the back. Probably doing another video of this one anyway. Um, yeah. And the piece of resistance is the Air Max 270 React Travis Scott Cactus Travis. Oh, I love this. I, I mean, 
I, I, I like a lot of the Cactus, um, the Travis Scott collection, and it, it is, it's a nice range. Maybe it's because it's high, maybe because everyone wants it, maybe because the resale value is over a thousand dollars per item, but um, there's something about them. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the uh, Jordan 1 Lowe's. I think it looks a bit, the reverse swish looks a bit funny at that, but that's just my opinion. But yeah, let's go into this kind of close up of this. So uh, let's start with the box. Ugh. I apologize for the lighting. So I will try to get that fixed or have a solution because I'm just using down lights and like another light source kind of on that side coming in. Um, and yeah, I realize it's not the best. I'm also using a phone because <laughs> I'm too cheap to invest in an actual camera to do something like this. But it does a relatively okay job for time. So can we get a nice close up of this? Oh yeah, it's got the Cactus Jack paper. And ta-da! Look at these. I'm probably not going to go too much into all the different materials and stuff. I mean, I've seen so many videos of it. Um, I find that, you know, when you do buy a shoe, there's probably no one-stop shop video where you're going to watch once and be like, yep, this is everything I want to know. And I could not be that place and try to be that place. I'm, I don't know. I'm just not as knowledgeable as some of the other guys. I really buy what I love. Um, I don't resell, like, hardly ever. Um, and the only time I resell is only because I bought something because, and I really wanted it at the time and then I realized probably never wear this and and then that's the time I would just resell so uh, in saying that let's get a close-up look of this shoe I mean I'm, I'm a massive fan of the 270s I got a pair of 720s myself that's like complete bubble I might bring that up just quickly to show you guys what I have it's just a similar colorway it's nothing fancy it's a bit loud it was also on sale um, yeah and Kind of see this. It's got the cactus jack at the back. Oh, focus. Yeah. I really like this kind of uh, blue purple touch for the lace locks. It's nice. Um, and yeah. And this kind of fleecy material with the swishes as well. So, and obviously, I think a lot of people talk about it might have different opinions on this kind of weathered out um, sole area. So, is that a midsole? Yeah, probably midsole. It's got this, looks like someone, looks like my son tried to paint this shoe with his paintbrush and did a really rough job of it. Yeah. And I don't know, did I show it already, but there's the Nike React on the side as well. Um, yeah, other than that, uh, I ended up buying a size 10 and a half in these. I normally buy size 10 in most of the Nikes I wear, um, but I was concerned that, you know, um, I, I was concerned that it was going to be slightly tight. I, did, I do have a size 10 and a half in the 720s, um, and I kind of gauged off that mainly because of the bubble. I noticed that Zoom shoes itself are quite narrow and then I try to go half a size up just in case as well. Uh, yeah, but other than that, I'll try these on and I'll give you a quick video on feet. Cool, thanks guys.